So in a previous video, we got introduced to the HB Pencil. And as I said, this is the most basic tool you'll use. So for today's video, I'm going to talk about this, some other pencils, and what erasers you'll want to be using for basic drawing. So you've got a pencil, but what about the eraser? When it comes to art materials, there's some different type of erasers, not just the little pink ones that you're used to on the end of your pencil. First, there's a kneaded eraser. And this is like a little ball of putty that you can do soft erasing with. It's great for removing gentle graphite marks that you've made with the side of your pencil. Because when you draw with the side of your pencil, you're only laying down graphite on the top of the paper. You're not carving in deep. And so a kneaded eraser is good at lifting this soft mark making up off your paper. The second type of eraser that you should probably have with you is called a vinyl eraser. And this is more what you're used to from the back of your pencil. This is a harder eraser that'll take more of the graphite off the paper at a time. This is for getting rid of those really dark marks. As a result, it's less sensitive. So this may be the only way that you can erase a line that you drew with too much firmness. If you dug into the paper too deep, a vinyl eraser might be your only chance. So I like to pair up the kneaded eraser with the soft side, and then a vinyl eraser with the more aggressive mark making, those that I've done with my tip of the pencil. They're both useful, and as you get to use them a little more, you'll understand when each one is more appropriate. Now I'm sure you expected the HB pencil, but what you might not have expected is a colored pencil. And this is not going to be necessarily for how you've used colored pencils in the past, but instead I like to use colored pencils as a way of drawing my foundation, drawing my sketch. And there's a couple reasons for this. First off, your average colored pencil is a bit waxier than your average graphite pencil. So what this means is it has a softer feel on the paper. And especially if it's dull, it'll lead to very fluid line work. It doesn't provide much resistance because it's so glossy. The second good thing is that you can separate your foundation from your final drawing with the color. So if you were to use a non-photo blue colored pencil, which is what's pictured here, if you were to draw your underdrawing and then put in a graphite pencil drawing on top, you can take that put it in a Xerox machine, and the final result will completely erase all of the blue, and all you're left with is the final pencil drawing. Now, I understand not many of you have access to a Xerox machine. Nobody has those at home. But in Photoshop, you can take the same sort of color and graphite drawing, and when you scan it, you can manipulate the blue to make it much less prevalent. So this frees you up to make really fluid gestural exploration sketches with the colored pencil. And then when you found the lines you like, you can get out a sharp graphite pencil, put down your final lines. Your homework for this week is simple. Remember when we did visual measuring and drew cell phones? Well, it's going to be the same homework assignment, only this time you're going to do it first with the blue pencil. Really, any colored pencil will do. I just like the way blue looks. Using the colored pencil first will allow you to use your eraser and to come to a more accurate drawing before you do the second pass with your HB pencil. And this will be when you put in your more definite fine edge lines. So you'll have the rough sketch followed by the contour drawing. So get used to drawing with a couple different types of pencils. Try out that kneaded eraser and have fun with this. Good luck, guys.